Now sometimes I just have the graph given where I need to find the polynomial. Is it possible that if I know the graph then I can find the equation of the respective polynomial is the reverse process of understanding the polynomial through the graphs where in the previous case we understood the graphs through the given polynomial. So in the reverse process it is very interesting that I give a graph and we identify the number of zeros and the degree of the polynomial and then find the equation of that polynomial. So let's start with one of the example problem. So identifying the polynomials from their graphs is a very interesting way of learning in the reverse process. So how do we identify the polynomials from the graphs? <laughs> so for example, I just give the polynomial graph which I don't know is exactly about its complete description then how do I understand this polynomial just by seeing the shape of the graph. Now as I clearly see this polynomial has its shape coming as an inverted W then I see that initially the graph cuts x axis four times 1, 2, 3 and 4. Therefore it makes me understand that there are four x intercepts for the graph. 4 x intercepts or 4 zeros make me make me understand makes me understand that the degree of the polynomial is 4 therefore this is a quartic polynomial with degree 4 a quartic polynomial is usually a polynomial with degree being 4 with all four roots being distinct with four distinct and real roots because all the four roots are crossing x-axis therefore they are real roots is how we understand the quartic polynomial in this case. Let's take another example and see how we can find. So for example I take <coughs> Now this clearly is an inverted parabola so I identify that this is a quadratic polynomial and because it doesn't cross x-axis out here it doesn't cross x-axis therefore this has no real rows a quadratic polynomial with no real roots is how I understand this polynomial just by seeing its graph. Similarly I have this is assumed to be a straight line with x one x intercept and y intercept and because it has only one x intercept this is said to be a linear polynomial or a straight line with one real root. So that is how we understand the different shapes through their degree and then define the name of the polynomial, quartic, quadratic and linear polynomials respectively. Now let's take one of the exceptional problem in which we are going to identify the degree of the polynomial and also the number of zeros of that polynomial and the nature of zeros of those of that respective polynomial. So let's take the diagram. 
a fourth case where I just take x axis and y axis, this is origin. is what I have taken here. So I understand this graph with various x-intercepts and only one y-intercept. So here I have one y-intercept, but the number of zeros of this polynomial would be, for this polynomial would be where I start here. Now because the graph is touching x-axis, I have two repeated zeros or two repeated roots here. So in case of this, where the graph is touching x-axis, I get two repeated roots. And where the graph is cutting x-axis is only one root at this case. Now here, again it touches, so it has two repeated roots. And here it is one root. Therefore, if I start counting, I have two repeated roots taken as two different roots but equal. So I have 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 is what I get as the total number of zeros would be initially with 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1, which is 6. Therefore, the number of zeros of this polynomial is 6 is how we understand and therefore this would be a quadratic a polynomial of degree 6 the polynomial will have the degree equal to the number of zeros so the degree of this polynomial is equal to 6 is how we identify connected with number of zeros